The godfather of AI, Professor Jeffrey Hinton, has a stark message for governments. Within the next decade, about 50% of jobs could be replaced by AI. Now, let me tell you, this isn't something to be taken lightly because Jeffrey Hinton isn't just another high-profile figure making noise to grab headlines. He is a pioneering computer scientist, a top expert in the field of artificial intelligence. Most importantly, he is one of the masterminds behind modern AI, earning him the title of Godfather of AI. So. When he speaks, it's worth listening closely. In a recent interview, Jeffrey Hinton said, Yes, yeah, so I'm very worried about AI taking over lots of mundane jobs. And that should be a good thing. It's going to lead to a big increase in productivity, which leads to a big increase in wealth. And if that wealth was equally distributed, that would be great. But it's not going to be. But he also dropped a bombshell by talking about the upcoming elections in the USA. He said, The systems we live in, that wealth is going to go to the rich and not to the people whose jobs get lost. And that's going to be very bad for society, I believe. So it's going to increase the gap between rich and poor, which increases the chances of right-wing populists getting elected. So, is there anything that can be done? He believes there's a partial solution to this problem, and that is universal basic income. This would provide everyone with a basic salary, regardless of their job status, from age 18 until the end of their lives. The goal is to protect people from the huge job losses that AI might cause. Professor Hinton mentioned that he has also discussed UBI with people in Downing Street. But here, the big question is, are they really listening? Jeffrey Hinton supports the idea of universal basic income. However, he also believes that UBI alone isn't enough. Many people find a sense of purpose and self-worth through their work. Simply giving people money doesn't address this need for self-respect and fulfillment that comes from having a job. He said, so I certainly believe in universal basic income. I don't think that's enough, though, because a lot of people get their self-respect from the job they do. And if you put everybody on universal basic income, that, doesn't, that solves the problem of them starving and not being able to pay the rent but it doesn't solve the self-respect problem. Well, I think he's absolutely right. Work isn't just about earning money, it's also about motivation. Think back to the time of the coronavirus pandemic. We were all cooped up, doing nothing but eating, drinking, and getting by. It wasn't just the pandemic that brought us down, it was also the sheer lack of purpose. Life felt meaningless. And let's be real, universal basic income isn't going to turn us into billionaires. It's just there to prevent starvation much like during the pandemic when our basic needs were met, but our lives lacked meaning. Jeffrey Hinton had worked part-time at Google for 10 years, helping advance AI, but later on, he noticed something. He suddenly started worrying about its negative impacts and his involvement. Due to this, he even left his role at Google to openly discuss the risks of AI. If you want to know his full story, watch the video in the card. Rumors are going around that a lot of people are leaving OpenAI lately. Ilya Sutskever, a co-founder and former scientist at OpenAI, recently decided to leave the company he helped start. Ilya was a student of Jeffrey Hinton and played a big role at OpenAI, especially in developing advanced AI. His departure is similar to his mentor, Jeffrey Hinton, leaving Google for personal reasons. Sutskever's exit from OpenAI started with some problems in leadership. The CEO, Sam Altman, got removed for a bit, then brought back because Ilya believed in safe AI, whereas Altman believed in the rapid commercializing of AI. Sutskever was part of the decisions during this time, including a plan to replace Altman. This made things complicated for him. His leaving made people wonder why. It wasn't sudden, but came after disagreements and different ideas in OpenAI. Even though we don't know exactly why he left, it seems he had different plans for AI's future compared to the company's. His leaving changed things for OpenAI. It made people think about where the company is going and the problems it faces in making better AI. Like Hinton leaving Google, Sutskever's leaving shows that in AI, there are challenges and safety issues to deal with when AI tries to make progress. Well, what do you think? Share your views, and don't forget to watch these videos on your screen to stay updated.